Well, hey guys, it's Vanessa Green, it's Ray Thompson, it's Angler News SA, and today we are broadcasting from the King Fisher. That's it. Alrighty, so this week's KZN Fishing Report, it has been fantastic. That's correct. Alright, now before we get into oh, the reports. Geez. Okay. <laughs> oh, I know you're eager to go. You're eager yeah. to go. Before we get into the reports, guys, huge shout out to our additional sponsors that came on. Now we know we got the Kingfisher as our title sponsor, but a shout out has to go out to our new sponsors, GPS Plastics and Clone Lures. Yes. Exactly. So welcome on board, guys. You know what? We'll be showing you more of their products as the shows go on. Definitely. But we just want to give a shout out because you know what? These shows require resources. 100%. And we require mm -hmm. funding to go fishing. That's it. <laughs> and thanks to these guys, we get to do more of it. Can't so, wait to you use know. those clone lures when we go down to the Transcar. <laughs> so guys, yeah, those will be available all around. Um, but for now, let's get into this week's fishing yeah. report. Okay. Right. Um, you were telling me Ports and John's, and John's. is Ooh, still yeah. cooking right That's now. That's correct. And mm. the sardines are still thick down there, bud. Yeah. A lot of Gary coming out mm -hmm. and a lot of cob. Yeah. Um, I know the divers are going out there. Absolutely. I told you about that report where the guy the guy dives 15 meters through sardines. That's how thick the sardines thick, are. Thick sardines. You know, and, and we're a couple of weeks into the run, Ray, and we're still couple getting of weeks. a good we're run A good sardines. month and a half into the run already. A good couple of weeks then. Yeah, good couple of weeks. <laughs> a lot of right. sardines still coming from the Transcar, still moving mm -hmm. north. It's... Uh, I'm looking at it and saying it's one of the best sardine seasons I've seen in a long time. 100%. Yeah, definitely. And, and, it, and it's not going to end anytime soon. No. No, no of course not. Definitely not. not. Uh, wait, but has there been sharks in between that? No. Not for us on the KZN coastline. Uh, Tronska, the sharks are there. Obviously, you go to Punskop, yeah. you put a bait out, and you wait until the sardines come past, and then... Obviously, you're getting a black fin, yeah. you're getting a zambi, you're getting whatever. All right. But those fish are still coming up. I think at the moment, those sharks are so full of sardines. Yeah, they're not, yeah, they're not worried about no. our little bunch of three or four sardines no. or something. Definitely. All right. Now, moving down to the south coast. Whoa, it's been fire. Guys, shad, 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 mad shad. Crazy amount of shad. Yeah, definitely and some the big shad. Yeah, that Margate area. Yeah. I've been looking at it. I've been hearing. I've been getting phone calls. Margate yes. again. Still on fire. Jeez, yeah. that no, place. It's going crazy. There's Garrick, there's cob, there's shad, there's sharks. You were telling me about the grey sharks. Grey sharks, out. lots of grey sharks coming out during yeah. the day. It's, it's ridiculous. And, and that's not just on the rock and surf side, on the offshore side, Ray. Right? Don't I forget mean, the kingies. There's a lot of kingies coming out yes. of the Margate. Yeah, 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 yeah. There has been kingfish coming out. A lot of game fish down there. Has there been any of those smaller fish like your bream? Well, I want to say small. It's still it's, fun to catch. It's but quiet, Actually, I think. you know what? Adam did show me some fat green. It's a Shelly Avenue or something. Yeah, Shelly Avenue. Shelly Avenue. Shelly Avenue. You, yeah. you know, the thing is, everybody's fishing for the easy fish. The, mm. they, they all sod in crazy. They're not yeah. really putting a lot of time in fishing for bream. So the bream are there. Yeah. I don't think they're putting the time in for it. Okay. They're catching right. shad, they're catching garrick, they're catching cob, the, the bigger fish. Yes. Well, so why not? Why I fish mean, for the bream? No, yeah. for sure. Well, yeah. and we've had enough months of bream anyway. <laughs> We're going to have a lot more months coming. Don't worry. It only gets better for us. No, for sure. Now, you were telling me Posh Epson, there's been some yeah, nice fish. there's been some lovely fish for those yeah. guys putting the time in in the evening and that there, fishing for the cob. Mm -hmm. there, there's been some nice cob coming out. Yeah. But from Shepston all the way up to Amanzum, Texas, oh, the cob are there yeah. if you are mm, willing no, to has been, yeah. persevere in the dark. And of the course. cold. Ooh, <laughs> it's been cold. This week has yes. been extremely well, and, cold. And those windy conditions weren't yeah. an easy fish, you know. So but definitely the, <laughs> the guys that put in that time and effort were rewarded. Yes. Now, apart from the cob all the way down, Garrick Ray. Garrick no, has no. been crazy. It's Same. been a massive, Ooh. great run for Garrick. But you know what, guys? Respect those bag and size limits. Definitely. Because uh, with that amount of fish, it's easy to get carried away. You yeah. know what, but you know, if you want to ha continue having uh, seasons like the way we do we have got to preserve the females. 100%. Yes. Now, let's move on down to Durban. Durban has been pretty good with the edibles. Yes, definitely. Right? Uh, the, the few shad coming through, a few Gary can yeah, coming through. Yeah, I've got a couple, couple stumpies. Yes. Have you heard of any cob out of Durban? I haven't I've really heard of a any. lot of cob, uh, no, a lot of hillback yeah, on, yeah, yeah, on, on the offshore side. side. Yes, yeah. They, yeah, rock and they surf started. Now. They've uh, started. Yeah. No, of course. So, and Cobb, the snappers. Cuban. There's been a lot of yes, snappers. Yes, just of outside beach. of Durban. Yeah. Lots of snapper salmon and the half cob is still around. Yes, definitely. All right. Now, even in the Durban harbor, there has been some good fishing. Yes. Uh, there's been some big shad off the center bank, mm -hmm. right? And the grunts is always there. The grunts are always there. Yeah. They, yeah. 
uh, have you? I don't like talking about them because they're always there. It's like, <laughs> but mm. but last week Brad was telling us, or was it you that was telling us about the Garrick out in the harbour as well? No, it must be, it must be, it must be Brad. Brad okay, yeah, well, no. you know, we've heard of Garrick uh, out in the harbour. So if you get in some, please let us know and share those images with send us. Send the pics. Speaking of sharing images and sending pics, hey, you know what? We got a shout out to one of our fans, Juven. Juven, yes. hey, hey, you know what? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know what? You shout out to Juven. You know, he's someone that was telling us that we inspired him to fish with our reports, got him That's out, great. and he went out and got his Garrick. First, first Garrick. Uh, first Garrick. Yeah. You know, so he wasn't fishing for a while. He's been watching these reports. And uh, we seem to have got someone else on the money. Ray was good, all, well done, Swati. Yeah, 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 good for him. Yeah, good, good for him. Hundred percent. So hey, you know what? You know, thanks for following. Make sure to hit that subscribe and follow button if you are watching it on any of our platforms. Now let's move on up to the north coast, where yeah. rock and surf conditions has been pretty trying this week. The wind was pounding. Yes. Not many anglers went out. It's cold. It, it's cold. It was difficult. Yeah. We had big seas. I mean, over this past couple, well, the past weekend, the, none of the ski boxes went out. We've had some reports from the kayak guys and the jet yes. ski guys. Early uh, morning launches and stuff yes, like that. But guys that aren't traveling too far. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, so there has been some snook. Yes. There's been the odd cooter. And oh. then cob. Oh. <laughs> cob, definitely cob. And you were telling me amber jacks. Ambers, yeah. Most yeah. of the guys that have been going have been going up to the Belito area yeah. for a quick outing mm. and they've been getting some nice embers all right so uh, yeah offshore fishing has been good on the narcos yes. rock and stuff not the greatest of times vital st lucia those areas have you heard um, of anything yeah uh, i've heard quite a bit uh, but it's hot and cold unfortunately uh, st lucia mm. the cob are there one day then they're not there the next day a lot yeah. of little kingies coming out all right yeah um so fun, so fun on light tackle. Light tackle, but those cob have been big that they've been catching. Oh, yeah, when, when they, the kingies, when they yeah, do, but yeah. the cob, yeah. That's at Mapalan, Vidal, yeah. St. Lucia area. All right, um, I heard about the shed yeah. the other week, but I, I didn't hear about any yeah, shed. I think it's going to well One week. day they're there, the next day they're not there, so don't <laughs> say right. too much. So now to round off on the freshwater side. Trout mm. fishing has been pretty decent. Yeah, especially um, the still water. <laughs> yes, because river season is closed, guys. 100%. Until the 1st of September, September respect that breeding yes. period, let the fish grow. And just remember one thing, when mm. you're out there on the still waters at the moment, those trout are in spawning mode. Egg Anything yeah. that is bright orange, mm. um, attractive flies, stuff like that. That's yeah. what you want to use. That's how you're going to catch your, mm. your fish. All right. Perfect. Well, yeah. that's good on the trout side. On the bass side, well, you know, there's been some big bass, but winter bass is slow fishing, but effective. I mean, if you're out for PBs, now's the time. Believe me, it's icy. <laughs> yeah, it's it cold. is. It is. Same with the carp fishing. It's yeah, cold, so you're not hearing sure. too much. I mean, I wouldn't want to be sitting in a tent yeah. next to the dam at this time of the year, unfortunately. Oh, no, so. absolutely not. I tried it two weeks ago with him, <laughs> but we were a little fortunate, except, you yeah, know, thank nice, God I had... It was a warm spell. It yeah. was a warm spell, but in those mornings and evenings, I did have that freezer suit on. Yeah. <laughs> so, no. Yes. Yeah. So, fresh water has been good on trout and bass. Carp has been but quiet, and it's still a little bit early for the scalies, but Thanks, the guys dude. are getting ready to tie their flies, so you know what, yeah. that's what you want to do. Really? Hey, Kingfisher has a great range of 100%. flies. We well. need that first snow melt to start coming not the first snow melt. Yeah. We need that snow to to come down and just give that little bit of a chill to the actual rivers before those scalies actually start turning on properly. Well, speak for yourself. I had enough <laughs> of the cold. <laughs> now, the most important thing. Yes, the one that everybody waits for. Okay, up and coming. Um, Absolutely. There's still a lot of sardines coming up. So <coughs> don't get too excited. There's a lot of sardines around. Mm -hmm. The weather Why not thought, get too excited? I want to get excited. Uh, <laughs> I hate the sardine season. It makes it so difficult because one day mm. they can be at Ilova and the next day they're at Caradine. Yeah. It's a lot of traveling. I don't get excited when the sardine season. Mm. Okay. I, I get excited when there's no sardines around because then you can, you yeah. know, when the fish are going to pitch up. So. Yeah, no, I, I get you. I get that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's go forward. What's going to happen this yeah. week? The weather is nice, mm. the sea is reasonably okay all the way up until Saturday. Saturday, we're going to have a big cold front coming through again. 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 You know, mm. it's weekend weather. It's competition yeah. weather. I, I can yeah, do that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, Saturday is looking lovely up until that west comes through. So, always best okay. before the west. Yep. The sea will calm down. We've got a little bit of northeast. When is that west coming through again on Saturday? Saturday evening. That's a good time to fish. Yeah, Saturday evening. Yeah. Definitely a good time to fish. All before right. Before that west comes. But, um, yeah, there's a but. looking forward <laughs> to fishing again. Garrick, 
Get your live bait early mm. morning. Go down and enjoy it. Yeah. Evening time. Go and fish for those cob. There's a lot of cob. Perfect. Get some live caros or something mm. like that. Go and fish. Don't forget, all these fish are still eating sardines. So if the net is around, try and get some fresh sardines and yes. go and fish in the evening for those cob. There's a yeah. lot of cob around, guys, and big ones. All Put right. the time in. I know it's going to get cold after this weekend. It's going to get bad after this weekend. After, yeah. when I say this weekend, after Sunday, relax. I think there's oh, rugby. Right. There is rugby there is on. Rugby. Yeah, yeah. Go watch a rugby. In Durban. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go and watch right. a rugby. Go and enjoy the family time Saturday afternoon, Saturday yeah. evening, Sunday. And Monday, start hitting it again. Monday, the guys are going back to work, dude. That's fine. No, you're going back to work. I'm not. I'm going fishing. Ah, there we go. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going fishing as well there because I'll never get to hear the end of it. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us again. Make sure to hit that subscribe and follow button. Huge shout out once again to our sponsors, the Kingfisher, Clone Lures, and GPS Plastics. For Anglo New South Africa, I am Vanessa Green. This is Ray Thompson, and we will see you next week. Cool. Cheers, guys. Shots, sorry.